Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is another episode of the Banana Slam Jaren podcast. It's been a little while. It's been, what, like two weeks, approximately? Honestly, if we're doing it every two weeks, that's pretty decent, man. Uh, it's solid, in my opinion. Yeah, so w- <laughs> what are you up to, man? What have you been doing? This is me and Monkey's way playing. to catch up with each other here. I've been playing so much Rocket League. Like, Rocket League? Yeah. Like... 10 to 12 hours a day of Rocket League. <laughs> I've been playing so much Rocket League. Are you any good? I mean, I'm getting better. I'm definitely not good anywhere yet. But Wow. I went, uh, for people who know Rocket League, I went from like gold one to diamond one in, in the span of like a week and a half. Is that like like never? Is that like two K to three K or what is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I mean, it's like the equivalent of probably two medals in in Dota. Wow. Probably like what? What? What's the what's the third lowest in Dota? Crusader. I think Crusader. Yeah, I think it's Herald Guardian Crusader. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it would probably be like Crusader to what? What's two up? Legend. Archon. <laughs> Maybe. <watching> Archon. <laughs> So, so just, just to give you some context, that's, that's probably what I've done. <laughs> I see. I don't, I don't even know the donor ranks in the lower tier. Yeah, nobody actually knows anything about those except for the people that uh, are stuck in them. So, it means you're pretty bored of Dota or what, my friend? I mean, TI qualifiers just happened. I just wanted to, you know, take a break. And I, I mean, I also like wanted to get good at a different game so I could like stream it. Oh, so have you stuff. not been streaming it this whole time at no, all? No, yeah, yeah. I, I haven't been streaming at all. I'm just. Wow. Because like for me, when I'm learning a new game, if you stream it, then chat is just like always telling you what you're doing wrong and it's like i already know what i'm doing like i know i'm not good monkeys (laughs) i I feel like they do that when you're rank (laughs) when you're rank 120 they still do that no 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 but i mean like you know i i have to be able to process what i'm doing wrong for myself before i just have a bunch of people like laughing at me and telling me so you're saying it's because you can't defend yourself well, I mean, how can I defend myself when there's like hundreds of people? Yeah. Oh no, what I'm saying is like in Dota, at least like you know, since you're high rank, you can you can like refute their statements. But like oh. if you if you <laughs> oh, if you, you if you suck at the game, then if they're telling you how bad you are, you have to kind of just like take it, and that doesn't feel good. I mean, yeah. Well, I, I mean, like I'm still really bad. Don't get me wrong. It's just like I wanted I wanted to be better than than you know the lowest of the low. Yeah. When I started uh, did you, streaming. Did you read my stream title today? I did. I did. I actually thought a patch came out, and then I checked Reddit, and I was like, ah, well, fuck you, VSJ. <laughs> <laughs> this has been my payback for the last seven years of my chat debating the fuck out of me whenever a patch is looming. <laughs> Part of me thinks Valve's just going to announce like five days ahead of time. Hey, there's going to be a patch on Tuesday, you know? And uh, so even though we're all like anxiously awaiting this patch, it's just going to like be told to us a week ahead of time. So the day we find out about it, we're actually going to wait like another week. I mean, I I also like, I mean, again, we, we kind of talked about it before. Like, I think a letter patch will happen, but like people are getting way too hyped about like this magic pat like it's literally gonna be maybe like 20 20 nerfs to like the op heroes and items and that that's it like dota isn't you you really enjoy the the popsicle there man (laughs) but like like, i was seeing how long you could go with a serious tone You didn't last very long. But, but like, we just had TI qualifiers, and TI is going to be on the same patch as TI qualifiers because that would just be unfair to the teams, right? Because, like, they qualified for the biggest tournament of the year on this patch. They're not just going to, like, go up and change Dota before, you know, a $40 million tournament just completely screwing over all of the teams. So, like, so what sure. if they release the biggest patch of all time? How many people I are mean, gonna pull I, this clip from the stream? 
I mean, like, you're welcome. I feel like there's just no chance they do that. Like, historically speaking, Valve just doesn't do that. TI has played on the same path. I mean, I guess, I guess this year is the first time that TI is in, what, October rather than August. So, like, True. it is a longer time frame, but I, I can't imagine that they would they would cuck over the, all of the TI teams like that. Because, like... All the TI teams right now, they are they are working their asses off to like, you know, come up with with their play style and own personal meta and like what they're gonna bring to the table at TI and like how they're gonna execute and everything. And if there is just like a random big patch, then all of them would be like, Well, all of that prep we put in <laughs> out the window. I, I mean like to an extent, right? Like obviously like, you know, you can still play the map similarly no matter what heroes there are and stuff, but it's very true. Very, very true. I hope that there's a patch somewhat soon, just because it's the same heroes every game. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I mean, again, I, I expect a letter patch to, like, nerf TB, Medusa, uh, Dragonlance, Axe, Axe, yeah, Dragonlance, like, uh, what else are, like, meta here? Are the spirit heroes still Nyx? OP? I, I don't, I don't, yeah, Nyx is, that's a good one. Wyvern, Hoodwink, yeah, Timbersaw. I don't even see too much Timber right now. Well, I mean, I haven't played for the last two and a half weeks. Yeah, says the guy that doesn't play Dota. <laughs> I I still watch Dota. Huck, Eon Disc. Yeah. Oh, I, I definitely expect Eon Disc to get nerfed. Why? Um, is buying per or being purchased like way too frequently? It is. For me, I just want to mix it up. You know, TA. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't know. Anything that mixes up. My boy Slark, he's been dead in the water forever. Uh, my boy Battle I mean, Fury. I mean, I mean rip. This, patch, this patch isn't going to change those things. That's what I'm saying, BSJ. Like, Slark needs more than a, than a letter patch to be, to be viable. <laughs> you take that back. <laughs> you take that back, you fucker. <laughs> I know, I know. When Slark uh, becomes viable again, you're just gonna you're gonna win a major BSJ, right? Cobium? Question mark. <laughs> but yes, yes, that is factually correct. <laughs> okay. correct. So I'm gonna have to take a second. So I got popsicle on me. Okay, yeah. so I dropped it. You saw that. I, I saw. And then <laughs> I reached. I saw a paper towel over there. And I reached over for it, but and I wiped my face, okay? And that paper towel was the paper towel that Kali used to serve me bacon a few hours ago. So that didn't work. So I got to be right back, because I literally just wiped bacon all over my face. I'll be right back. A few moments later. He's literally playing Rocket League while... I'm trying to get him to do this podcast. So <laughs> I literally, I had to appear offline on Steam when playing Rocket League because people would keep messaging me and like you know the little like Steam sound like the the bleep, the beep or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just getting so like I would lose focus every time I heard it. I'm like fuck this. I'm t I'm off Steam for like a week. I don't want to hear this shit anymore. <laughs> Because <laughs> okay. all it was was people flaming me for playing Rocket League. Like, I don't. What's everyone's problem? I just want to play Rocket League. <laughs> My favorite is uh. So I don't know if you ever do the Twitch bounties, but I I've been trying to get those in. They're just like board. they're yeah. They're just like a nice little bonus check. They you know it's a little yeah. sponsorship through Twitch guys where you get to play like a game or something for an hour and they pay you a little bit and uh. Every time I do them, my chat just guilt trips me. They're just like, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you playing Dota? Wow, this is how low BSJ will stoop in order to make money. And it's like, how dare you? How dare you? Your time playing Dota 2 for my entertainment, BSJ. I should be able to open up Twitch at any time, any day, and you should be there playing Dota 2. What do I not pay you for? Is exactly what <laughs> I envision those guys do, saying in their head right now. But yeah, uh, the, the only bounties I've usually done are like the the movie trailers. Oh, those whatever. are nice because they're literally like thirty seconds, and then you talk about it for thirty seconds, and then you get like 
you know whatever the payout is and it's just easy yeah dude those are the those are the best it's just like yeah. here's a quick little bonus check for watching this three minute movie trailer that you might have even watched on youtube at some point yeah. anyways <laughs> yeah those are good they're, they're those I feel, are... I feel like i feel like they don't even check like the the completion of them like they i, I feel like because there's something no they 100 percent check like, they 100% yeah, they check because on my first couple, I don't know what I did wrong, but I did something wrong and Not they really. and they let me know they, uh, they were like see. they said something where like if you do this again, you know, you'll get strike two for doing bounties, you know, you got to be oh, careful. Wow. It's not like a ban on Twitch or anything, but it's like we're not going to pay you if you yeah, don't yeah. do these properly. So I uh, I guess I've just always done them properly. You've just done them properly. <laughs> I could probably dig up that email. That was probably a year or two, year or two ago. Somebody in my chat is saying Nax is out, which is like the most ancient Hearthstone meme. Why are you spamming a Hearthstone meme in my Nax Dota is, chat? Let, in like my Nax Rocket League chat? Or, or, or what was it called? Nax Ramos, I, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was a Nax Ramos. Yeah. Because uh, that, that, was, that was when I actually played uh, Hearthstone. Like when, yeah, that was uh, literally like the second yeah. patch of <laughs> yeah. Hearthstone. And Hearthstone's like 20 patches in at this point. That was like five yeah. years ago. Got to give him props that he's <laughs> digging up the memes from the grave. Rocket League patches out. Hepo dance. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm not going to lie to you, monkeys. Bulba told me that the patch was going to be out this week. And yeah. I'm heartbroken. I feel betrayed and lied to. I and mean, we're only we're only, what, four days into the week? I am taking it out on my chat, though. My goal is to become <laughs> rebranded as the boy who cried patch. That is the... Uh, so, like, eventually my title is literally going to say, Patch is out, boys! And it's actually going to be out. But I but managed no to clickbait all of these viewers the entire time leading up to the patch. So I was getting more viewers than I should because people thought the patch was out. And then once the patch is actually out, by that time, nobody's going to watch me, monkeys. So you're doing the Mason strat. The clickbaiting or the nobody yeah. watching me strat? Because I feel like... Well, I mean, I, I obviously, obviously the clickbaiting, not the nobody watching. I wasn't sure if you were flaming the shit out of Mason there. <laughs> How can they flame Mason? He has what, like 8,000 viewers or something? Maybe. 6,000? I don't Honestly, know. Honestly, like, viewer there. count's just a number, so it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually matter. True true it really is just a number just like mmr wise wise words of dendy ask kyle to tweet that the patch won't come out for a month the reverse kyle curse uh, that's stooping down pretty pretty low that's bottom of the barrel <laughs> that is uh a reasonable plan but at this point, you know, I'm kind of just like emotionally preparing for the patch, but I'm also getting ready to leave, monkeys. You're not playing Dota with me, and I'm about to leave. You're not going to play mean, Dota with me, man. I, I, I can play on EU servers with you. I don't get, like, that bad ping to EU. I just prefer to not play EU. I get, like, 90 to 100. It's it's acceptable. It's just I don't, I don't want to play on EU all the time, you know, because then... Then I get used to bad ping, and then normal ping feels weird to me, and then it's just... Can I talk about a real-life struggle that I've been dealing with ever since Collie and I relocated before I go to Europe? Is there, is there internet shit? So, at the old place, we had Verizon Fios, okay? And mm, that's what when, I we, when we moved here, the, the person selling Collie the apartment told her they had Verizon Fios. And we get here, and they don't have Verizon Files. Uh, they no. don't have it. They don't have it. <laughs> and so when I was at the old apartment, it. yes, when I was at the old apartment, I had eight ping. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. That is like... I get that 10 is to 12. Single-digit ping, monkeys, okay? Yeah. And I now have 16. Oh no! They that is, literally that is literally double. They literally doubled my ping. I oh no! 
I actually don't know what to do about it. It is like I, I'm trying to I've been trying to adjust and people are wondering why I'm rank 120 rather than like what I yeah. used to be, you know, like I rank mean, you 30 have or 40. The answer right there. Like, yeah, no like further. I'm literally playing on double the delay <laughs> that I used to play on. So I'm going to be like twice as bad. I mean, it's just I don't, that's quick math. That is that is how it works. <laughs> quick math. <laughs> I mean, that's just factually correct, if you ask me. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, Layless has the equivalent of 20k MMR if he actually played on no ping, so that's just That's like, true. Yeah. I mean, Layless Le at uh, TI is going to be... I don't know, he's going to be another monster. Dude, I'm looking forward to it. I, I love how his hero pool is, like, all ping-friendly heroes. <laughs> like tied and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> like nature's profit. Just, just, just sit in front and walk at them, teleport around the map, avoid the enemy. <laughs> like, it really is though. Brood, you gotta respect yeah. them. Not brood though. They got eliminated at the major playing brood against Vichy. Let's be honest, monkeys. If that was you playing brood, they would have they would have won that game. Oh, they absolutely would have won. There, there, there is actually two distinct moments in that game where Lelis just like absolutely bonked a team fight, and I'm just like, Lelis, no! Like, yeah, like they literally. I, I remember this so vividly because I was watching that game and I was really rooting for for Quincy. Like, I really wanted them to win. And there was this team fight near Roche. They were up like 12k or something. They were up so much. It was yeah, like yeah, 20 yeah, minutes yeah, into like, the game, yeah, dude. Yeah, it was like 12 or 14k. Vici walks up. Like, they have a ward on like the, the high ground near Roche, in, in between Roche and the mid tier one tower. Quincy has a ward on that high ground. And Lelis has like webs surrounding that high ground. Vici just walks up, places a ward, and proceeds to take a 40 second team fight around that ward. They had a ward and a sentry down. Lelis had spiders. If he killed that ward, Quincy, Quincy win the fight. The fight is actually just over in their favor. But Lelis just never killed the ward in the entire team fight. He, he walked past it. He sat on the hill. He did so much shit, and he never killed the ward. And I'm just like, Lelis, you have to, like, they're just fighting under God vision, and they have better team fight than you. What are you doing? <laughs> like, it was so bad. <laughs> Now, guys, remember, Monkeys hasn't played a game of Dota in, like, a month, so he may or may not know what he's talking about. All right. What? Disclaimer. It's vision! Vision, like, never changes in Dota! That's the one consistency! That's true. It's true. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, I didn't. I actually did not notice that when I was watching the game, but I definitely remember them taking like a kill. They killed. They like ganked the enemy carry in their own jungle. Like they were radiant, and Vici was dire, and like the enemy carry was trying to farm on their own side of the map to dodge them. And while they ganked them, Layla's just died solo at the tier two mid. I don't know how. I I, th I think I remember that he he was like he was trying to poke and harass and he literally just like overstepped yeah. by like 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 half a second too long he was now guys and, you know. take us take like a recording out of context because I think this is the one time I'll ever flame Layla's I feel like I've like that was the one time I was like damn if he was better at this hero his team would have won I don't say that I don't think ever so you guys can feel free to take this out of context clip it and ship it send it over to Layla's and uh you know <laughs> see what he says so i i actually i had so much confidence uh in him going into that game too because like i i had been talking to Lelis about brood for like a month and a half leading up to the major like we actually were just talking about brood like every time we talked to each other and i was like Lelis has to understand the hero by now right like he has to just be a fucking maniac right <laughs> like, Dude, Brood's a hard hero. You've played it a lot. I'm, I, I mean, like, don't get me like he played really well. Like they, they were up 14k or whatever. Like, really, like by 20 minutes, it's just like, you know, when you, when you play team fights as Brood, I just, I feel like you have to take out really like drawn out fights and like you have to find that like initial kill before like the fight really. Be, like, well, she has like all the favor. map advantage, right? Because you have you like yeah, yeah, yeah. you're so strong at taking over certain areas and stuff that like you have to get the map 
Uh, yeah, you have to get like the like you said, like you you get a point where the opponent's separated because you yeah. are pressuring so much. Maybe, maybe because you, you get literally have spiderlings in two lanes and your hero in a third lane, yeah. and like they're just like, all right, what do we deal with? Like we gotta deal with something here. <laughs> and then that's when one of them feeds, and you take the fight. But Layless, man. Okay, we're done flaming Layless. No, so it's not even flaming. Stop like, flaming. Again, he, okay. he played well. It's just he made a couple a couple mistakes. Yeah. It's tough. Quinn has been owning in my games. You know, we're talking about Quinn's a crew. Quinn has been absolutely owning. I was playing PL. I had a really good game, and I'm like, damn, I've got a storm mid against Quinn's Pango. Like, storm is ranked 30 or something. Like, this game's going to own, because even though Pango's really good against PL, storm's really good against Pango. And then... Quinn proceeds to fucking solo kill the guy and, like, just shit on me, okay? And I was like, <laughs> fucking Quinn, man. Fucking yep. Quinn. What can you That's, do, man? I mean, my my last game with Quinn, he, what, what, what was it? It was like... It was Storm vs. Viper. We did a level one smoke, got him first blood. We got him three bounty runes, and he still got solo killed against Viper pre-level six. And I'm like, Quinn, man. Quinn, I mean, he still carried the game, but Quinn. It was like a rank 160 Viper. Like, Quinn, man, what Quinn, are you man. doing? That's lower Quinn. rank than me right now, Quinn. That's real <laughs> fucking bad. <laughs> You know, I had a moment of pretty shocking today, okay? So, you know, Moon Meander, he's the type of guy that I, I respect his skill a shit ton, but he's not the most constructive criticizer in a pub, all right? <laughs> like, he's just not. So, we just got done playing a pub, and I'm level 4 Monkey King. It's a really high rank pub, and we're playing against Doom Grimstroke. We're, like, fucking dumpstering the lane, and the Grim and Doom are both level 2, all right? And I'm like, I'm fucking strong as shit. And he's like, I'm pulling. I'm getting the lane back. Be careful. And I proceed to die to two level two heroes as a level four monkey king. And he didn't say I, I, a word. I saw right? that death. Dude, saw he that didn't death. say a word. He didn't say a word. <laughs> that, that's impressive coming from Moon. I, I, I could not believe that Moon didn't take a quick dive off the deep end. Just a second there. <laughs> Because that's honestly, those deaths are what's making me rank 120 right now, dude. I'm having like one or two really fucking dumb deaths a game, and I'm back to that yeah. bad habit, and I don't know how to break it, monkeys. <laughs> you, just right. have to, you just have, have so to I've... put in like that extra effort every game, go into the game, yeah. and be like, all right, no matter what, I'm not like, it, literally, you have like an iota of an idea of a way that you're gonna die, just be like, nope, don't do it, BSJ, just back up, sit under the tower. Like, uh, if only I had that discipline, monkeys. I I could be as zen as you are. <laughs> I could be as zen. I mean, I'm not. I'm definitely not zen in pubs. I just I literally run down lanes until I die, and I'm like, all right, let's do it again. <laughs> I mean, if I'm like, if I'm really trying like to improve my map pressure and stuff, like I'll, I'll actively think about it and be like, all right, I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna like play properly, do this and this and this. But like, for the for the most part, I like I hit level four and whatever hero I'm playing, axe, bat rider, whatever. I start cutting waves until I ha drag four heroes into the enemy safe lane tier three tower, and I'm like, all right, you know, um, that was an acceptable death. Time to TP back, and play some Dota. <laughs> Monkeys is actually uh, has been clinically diagnosed psychotic, guys. So if you're wondering, you know, the cackling and the, you know, describing his sick thoughts during these games, it's just uh, it's just who he is. Embrace it. So nothing you can do about it. But OK, so sine B is like really going after you, man. So just letting you know, you know, if you want to hit her up in the DMs, con <laughs> confirmed grill. She's she's really she's really going for you. Confirmed grill. I do need a new grill. Yeah. You know, I, I need I need I need. Uh, Don't say uh, need. Don't say need. That sounds very very cleany clean very clean. Chill out on the need. Uh, just bad. say, just say like I could use a new that grill. <laughs> that, that that sounds bad too. That sounds bad. Uh, I would appreciate. There you go. I, I was going somewhere entirely. Dead. I was I was literally referencing like a grill, like an actual. Yeah, grill. that's what we're talking about. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Yes. 
Oh, <laughs> uh, I can't handle you, VSJ. <laughs> You know that's what I'm so, here for. So, so did the did the move go well? Yeah, we're we're getting all settled in. The place looks quite nice. The area, okay, the area is like up and coming. LIC, it's like right off of Manhattan. We are a ferry ride away from Manhattan. I mean, we can take subway too, but the ferry ride's like right there, and oh, it's really? like it's like a three minute ferry. It comes every like ten minutes, oh, and dude, that's sick. it's awesome. And like our view is just the east river and manhattan like right out the window right there so yeah that's awesome it's pretty awesome and you said you were gonna visit so i'm not gonna not gonna be, Who's uh, the, who went to niagara falls who was moving who's literally ignored me last week for the podcast it wasn't me bsj you didn't ignore who yourself else could, who else could it have been you have to take care of yourself monkeys you can't ignore yourself like that how are you turning this on me? What? <laughs> she said she'd take you to Mo- Niagara Falls, monkeys. If that's the problem, she said she'd take you there. So I have never been to Niagara Falls. It was pretty cool, by the way. We didn't get to talk about it much, but uh, so we weren't sure. Like, exa- I, I didn't do much research other than to make sure we had like the proper tours and everything booked and everything. So we went on the Maid of the Mist tour. The only reason I even recognized or knew what Maid of the Mist was was Bruce Almighty. Did you ever watch that movie? Uh, yeah, I did. I think I, I think that happened in the in the Office too, didn't it? I'm not sure. Did you ever watch the Office? I did watch the Office, but I don't remember it from there. I remember it from Bruce Almighty, where he like interviews the old lady that's been managing the Maid of the Mist for like seventy years, and he's like really upset that he's getting put on these like reject news oh, cases. Oh yeah, I, I, I do remember that. So she's saying that they did do it in the office as well. So I believe you guys. I don't remember the office that vividly, but I did watch it twice. So I don't really have an excuse. But OK, I, I so it was Je- Jim and Pam's wedding, was it? Oh, oh, the wedding scene. Yep. Somebody else said, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, so we went on the tour. But when we got there, we had like a day to scout things out. So first off, we went to the casino because it was pouring outside and there was a casino nearby. So we're like, well, we can't do any of our outdoor activities, so we'll do our casino right now. And I played craps monkeys and I won. It's not a likely thing to happen, but I won. Okay, so I won some money the first day. I was like super pumped. And then we walked over to the falls and we saw the American Falls. So, guys, there are the American Falls, the Bridal Veil Falls and the Horseshoe Falls. So I haven't really looked at pictures. I didn't know what to expect. I saw the American Falls and I'm like, that's pretty cool. But like, doesn't look like the epic fucking Niagara Falls that like I thought it would be. Okay, I'm like, that's still big falls. But so I I see that and we we keep walking. We keep walking. We're like going through the Goat Island. Don't ask why it's called Goat Island. And we're walking around and then we see Horseshoe Falls. Okay, and Horseshoe Falls is like seven times the size of American Falls really and it's and it's a legit horseshoe like there's a reason why it's called horseshoe falls it's Mm -hmm. like it's literally like a half circle of a waterfall all just dumping into the freaking bottom and it's like it's like 180 feet tall or something of just water dumping in and that's where the boat takes you you get to go into like the middle of the horseshoe falls and it's just like all you know you're not like directly in it obviously but you're really close you're you're probably like 30, 40 feet away from this dumping waterfall and uh, you're just getting sprayed. It was freaking epic. But uh, so I got to win win some money. Okay. And then I got to go to the falls, which was dope. And then the next day we, or what happened was we went to the casino. Then we had a nice dinner. Then we walked around. Then the next day we did the tour. And then we had about after tour, lunch, outdoorsy stuff, dinner we had a bit more time for the casino and i got to play craps by myself i'm like oh i get to let the winnings ride baby (laughs) and for people who don't know craps is the dice game and it's the game where honestly you either win a shit ton or lose a shit ton like really (laughs) fast so you don't get to play for very long okay you don't get to play for very long So I was like, I'm not used to getting to play craps for very long. So the first day I won, I played for a couple hours, which is like, 
an insane amount of time for craps. I'm like throwing some dice and I'm winning. I'm like, wow, I can't believe I'm winning. And then the next day I'm by myself. So usually what happens is you have like 10 people at the table. You throw out one roll and they're all like, oh, we got to pay this person and pay this person and pay this person and like pick up everyone's bets and stuff. So it takes like 45 seconds to do a roll. You know, you roll, they pay everybody and you roll again. But when you're by yourself, it's just you. So they don't have to like think of anything. All they see is your money, whether or not you win or lost. And then like they there's just like no bets on the table in comparison. So I rolled like once every eight seconds. OK, like five seconds like there. I'm literally just rolling and then rolling and then rolling and rolling. Yeah. And I was by myself for an hour. I don't think I've ever had that much of like an adrenaline rush because <laughs> I'm literally rolling like six times a minute for an hour. And I won a little bit. I didn't like win a lot, but I won a little bit. Yeah. So the fact that I played for an hour and got to win a little bit, but I'm mostly like, holy shit, I'm trucking these dice every eight seconds. <laughs> I, I literally felt like I was in a, I mean, the only reason I played for so long is because I was like winning. So I, I think yeah. I have pretty good discipline there, but I, I was just like, I've never experienced this before because usually it's pretty slow paced, but mm -hmm. um, trust me, guys, I'm not a gambling addict. I actually know exactly all the odds and shit, and I expect to lose. But yeah, he, it's fine. He, he's uh, BSJ is very smart when it comes to casinos. Yeah, I'm very smart about it. And if I'm winning, I'm gonna like enjoy myself. That's what it's all about. You don't go. I'm not telling you guys to go to craps. So the way I look at craps is simple. Okay, guys, it's very simple. They take money away from the direct odds. So say the odds of winning are six to five, they will pay you seven to six because that is like slightly less than six to five monkeys so what happens is you put Wait, 60 really? bucks on, yeah that's how they take money from you like that's how they get the house edge monkeys you know shut up so you're kidding but so like if i put a you know if i put a 18 dollar bet out there i'm supposed to get paid like 22 dollars instead i get paid 21 dollars that's how they get you man so every time i win money i'm thinking i just gave the casino a dollar that's what I did right there. I gave them a dollar, but it's because I'm winning monkeys that I gave them a dollar. So it's just like, here's the tip, guys. Here's your 3%. <laughs> here's your 4% tip. And that's how I sleep at night. So uh -huh. no, but the trip was really fun because we got like a discount because we're thinking like, wow, you know, I'm not streaming this weekend, like the tour, you know, the hotel, it's all adding up, but then we get the discount. So that, that was now that, that the casino was the discount monkeys if you're there not you following me here so uh, yeah, it was a lot of yeah, fun so. it was a lot of fun it was a good trip it's nice uh, to get it. that done we we've been super busy so last story and then you know i'm gonna stop hogging the conversation have you heard of beat the yeah. bomb dude have you heard of beat the bomb beat the bomb no yeah. i don't think so okay so obviously you've done escape rooms right yeah so we did one actually yeah we did so one. Jeez, so. <laughs> so i was told going into this that this was an escape room I was like, okay, okay. I'm, I'm literally plugging the shit out of Beat the Bomb for free. You know, they owe me something. I'm giving them the Instagram exposure, whatever. So what it is, is it's an escape room, kind of. What it is, is that you go in and they say you have four rooms that you have to walk through. And in each room, you're timed for 10 minutes. And you have to do like a puzzle slash like levels of stuff okay and however many levels you clear in 10 minutes you earn time okay you earn time to defuse a bomb after so you okay so there there's like leaderboards and shit they score it because like however much time you accrue you score points okay yeah. so so like, like you know, a max number of rooms that you can do or there's four rooms and there's no you get 10 minutes so like yeah, however yeah, but, however yeah, but so, so you can do up to four rooms but you can't do more like you can't get there's, more there's only that. four rooms there's only okay. four rooms you get 10 minutes in each room and it's like however much time you can accrue in that you oh, then oh, play oh, 10 minutes in each room I yeah 10, 10 minutes, minutes total no okay. no 10 minutes in each room so you know the whole thing takes about an hour because you do 10 minutes mm -hmm. in each room then you do the bomb stage with however much time you got left you get to use yeah. it so it's four person and you're like doing these like coordinated games where like one of them were like going through lasers and like another one where, you know, doing like, um, 
like number puzzle things and it was really cool i don't want to spoil it but either way yeah. it was like the coolest thing i've ever done i was like in terms of like uh it felt like an escape room when i was competing with people so it really yeah, yeah. Fed it, that it, it, it almost sounds like a real life video game like, like dude it was i literally am like this is the first step whoever came up with this this is this shit's the first step <laughs> It, 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 it is yeah, the first that, that, step. It, it was really fun. It was really yeah, fun, and that, we're gonna do it like again. A lot of fun. And it's something uh, where okay. when I'm when you're ever gonna come visit, it's something you and I should do because it For would sure. be. Or, or fun. Is it like? Uh, is it kind of like a, a widely, or is it like spreading around? Like, do they have multiple? I have absolutely no. I, I know they have two locations. I know they have that. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know if they're outside of New York, but they have one, I believe, in Manhattan and one in Brooklyn. I think so. Mm -hmm. uh i just I mean, found out about it, it that's how it starts though you know it starts with two places they start doing well they expand and yeah what happened was collie's like decent friends with beer you i don't want to say i say decent because i don't actually know how good of friends they are but she's friends with beer you who if you guys don't know is like a really high mmr dota player but he kind of like has a real life too and then also <laughs> so he was visiting and then also mss lives in the area so we did it with Kali, me beer you and mss oh dude that sounds like a sick yeah. to do that with yeah it was really fun so uh it was a good time i i, I feel like that's the type of thing that like you, you need competitive people to do it with like if you're if you we were very people, tired like, <laughs> if you do it people are just like don't give a shit i feel like it would be less enjoyable but you, you get four people who are like into it like dude that would be so fun so what we're doing next weekend is we got like i think i don't know exactly who the group is but i, I mean i've seen it but i don't know exactly who it is we're going again with eight people and you can do like a similar thing where you're competing against each other in every room oh, so we're cool. gonna so there they have like their there's like two different story progressions and then like oh one where you're competing i don't know if the competing one's the same games i don't, I don't actually know but uh i mean you're gonna have an advantage now. you already know all the puzzles yeah we i we said if we're gonna if it is the same stories because there were at least two stories we're gonna do the other one so we don't have oh, like God. some crazy advantage <laughs> Do, do you know if they like rotate the puzzles like monthly or something to like I, keep I have correct, absolutely or? no clue but what I do know is they just recently cuz you know covid's like kind of loosening things up even though it looks like everything's bound to go back down oh, because, yeah because of the they're culture. doing like a leaderboard slash like pro league if you qualify for it oh so really like, if, yeah if you have like a good enough score so we actually got 27th out of about 700 teams we got oh, 27 damn. so it was a That's respect solid. it was a respectable score so yeah yeah we uh yeah it was, well, it was, so, it was really so does like does only your first attempt count towards the leaderboard because that's you, you know like, i didn't ask like, these questions the i was thinking i'm like couldn't we just run this back and like we would have yeah, done yeah, and like you literally know the puzzle and you just like insta do it every single time yeah because well no what it is it's definitely not something that you can so they're somewhat randomized games where like you couldn't memorize them you oh you, i see i see yeah like it, it would be that like we had to spend maybe 30 seconds to a minute in every single room figuring out kind of like the quirks of the game you know because there's little like things you have to figure out about the game that you don't yeah, know yeah. if you've never played so we would save ourselves probably 30 seconds to a minute of like how to optimally finish each level in the game because we were okay. figuring that out but yeah, yeah. You know, so it wouldn't be probably a huge advantage but if you were to just like spam this shit you'd probably i don't know you'd probably win but it is money so like it costs money to play the game so i don't know it's probably uh it's probably expensive if you were to do that, <laughs> that, that that's enough of a deterrent to stop the <laughs> to stop the spammers <laughs> the leaderboard cheaters <laughs> yeah that's how they get you the pay to win wall so that's what i've been doing ever since the patch you know hasn't been coming out but we've been busy ever since the patch hasn't come out <laughs> i keep seeing my chat talking about the patch and how they want the patch and how they're not even listening guys anybody here listening no, i mean uh, why why would anyone what's listen up to Polly's coming up to say something repeat the bomb now I said there's a pro league. Yeah, and so for the qualifiers, it's from August first to August thirty first. Okay. And right now, if you if you qualify and then you win, it's a thousand dollars or so price. Wow. Wait. So could we like replay it as many times as we want? So you could get like a refund. Nice. Wait. What? What's the prize pool? 
She said it's a thousand dollar prize pool. I don't know if that's for like the winners or like spread out amongst like first, second, third or what. So I mean, I I feel like just just competing in that would be fun though. So yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it'd be super hard. It'd be super fun to try hard. But uh, yeah, I, I, and I mean, then then I feel like you also run into like other people similar to you. Like then you can talk to them afterwards. Uh, I like after the competition, be like, uh, you know. Meet new people. How did you yeah. guys become such tryhards? <laughs> How many times did you guys have to repeat this to get on the leaderboards? <laughs> that's a that's a better question. <laughs> that's pretty good. But um, no, that's good shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I don't even know what to what to talk about with Dota. Like I don't know. Dota's, Dota's pretty just... snore right now. We were ho- we were, so I guess you know we've hit like the forty five minute mark ish. So what we could do to like start heading towards is maybe talk about something Dota related because chat's probably like dying at this point because they're literally on withdrawal <laughs> from Dota. Because if my stream ever goes off of Dota, it's it's near you know apocalypse level events. Yeah, it's, so, it's like what what do you, what do they do with their lives? Like yeah. if they can't experience Dota through UBSJ, what could they possibly do? To get their Dota fix, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I'm coming up blank. I... <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying anything for a reason. So, you know, we talked about like the heroes we want to get nerfed, monkeys. But so you said at the start of the stream that you predicted the biggest patch of all time no, prior to TI. That's, that's not put words in my mouth, especially if they're incorrect. You can put other things in my mouth, BSJ, but not, not such words. as vegetables. <laughs> Because you're a, yes, a vegetarian. Exactly. Because of a great save, BSJ. Great yes. save. Yes. You could put a banana in my mouth. That's a. <laughs> What's fucking wrong with you? <laughs> that is appropriate. You are a monkey, after all. So I know. That's it's literally forever. You are. You are forever a monkey. Uh, somebody in chat said they really like each other. Very, very perceptive. Uh, yeah. So I'm just trying to, you know, tell people about what we hope for the patch, and here you are just. <laughs> Talking about fruit in your mouth. That's just how it goes. That's exactly what he was talking about, guys. So, okay. I'm you know what? We're going to stick to life. real life stuff <laughs> and we can title the podcast Everything That Isn't Dota because the there patch is Snore. That, that's going to be the name. So, we ordered a trash can, monkeys, and we named it NA Pubs. No, I'm kidding. So, we actually ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get one last zinger in before you left. Eh? Zzzing. <laughs> so we ordered a trash can, and we like Amazon said it arrived July twenty fourth, and we're like, no, it didn't. Where's our trash can? And Did so they, they don't the picture. No, no. So we we were we no no we worked at we we live in an apartment building. So with apartment oh, buildings, right, right. they like deliver it to the front desk, and the front desk yeah, like yeah, verifies yeah. it or whatever. So we like go down to the front desk and say like you know where's the package? And we showed them the tracking number, and they said yeah, you guys like we arrived that package arrived, but it looks like it was given to the wrong people. You know, it was sent to the wrong apartment number. So mm. we aren't allowed to know who it got sent to. Okay, like we're not allowed to know because I guess like it breaches privacy or something. Yeah. So, I so I mean, it's awkward. I mean, it makes no sense that we'd be allowed to, but then at the same time, it's like, how do you resolve it if yeah. you don't know who it is? So we had to go through like the middleman of the front desk to find out like how you know what happened. So they called us back after contacting the people that got our trash can, and the guy's excuse was. I thought my I knew my wife was looking into buying a trash can, so I just thought this was our trash can. <laughs> and we're like, 
how much shit are you full of right now? Has it been at least a week <laughs> since you haven't gone to the bathroom? Like, dude, BS, dude, BS. Okay, like, what kind of excuse? What kind of excuse is that? It's like, if you did not order a trash can, then you know it's not your trash can. Yeah. <laughs> so then they're like, well... <laughs> oh, no, trash can. <laughs> so monkeys, or not monkeys, sorry, Kali... I'm Collie's like upset about this, like very upset. I'm like, yeah, I'm upset too. I just like don't think it helps, and we're both really upset about it. So she's upset. So she tries to get the she tries to make them rectify the situation, and they're like, maybe we can just get we can have them give you the trash can back. And she's like, they've just been using our trash can for like a week, so I don't want to like get a week used trash can after they just like stole our trash can. You know, she's she's like trying to freaking send a message at this point and i'm like fair enough like they literally stole our trash can so and it's a nice trash can we paid like a hundred dollars for that trash can trash cans are freaking ex dude they're expensive trash dude they're expensive what? if you don't want just like a basic plastic bin those things are expensive we just wanted one where you Damn. where you put your foot down and it lifts the lid of like a really nice big recycle bin trash can so then she's like no so inevitably the neighbors agreed to pay our pay what the trash can was to us okay uh -huh. so all i can say is if you go on amazon unless you get like the most basic of trash cans they're like a hundred bucks all right 80 Dude, bucks or something that's actually crazy it I was like 80 to 100 bucks heard, I, i've never looked at trash cans before so yeah i i didn't that believe it Kali was like brian trash cans are so expensive and i'm like same response as you I, and I go over there, and the cheapest ones are like forty dollars, and they're like the most basic ass bitch, you know, I th trash cans. I thought I thought you were gonna say that uh, that your neighbors they said they were gonna pay for your trash can, and then they learned how expensive it was. <laughs> be like, oh no, I'm not fucking way. I'm not paying. Dude, there's straight up like three hundred dollar trash cans on there, like. <laughs> Like, what, 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 how do you, uh, oh my god. Literally something to put your garbage into. <laughs> to be fair, it is like, you know, Kali wants the place to be very aesthetically pleasing. She could have been an interior designer in a past life, for sure. I, I mean, dude, I believe that both of your places have looked sick. Just from, Yeah, like, the, this the is like 90% Kali, you know, back behind I, me I, here. I believe it. So, I, I, would, I would maybe even say 95% no. Yeah, 95%. <laughs> so what you do need to see is the SpongeBob painting way back on the wall. Can you see it? It's back there. SpongeBob, see him? Yes, I, I do see him. That's me. That's all me right there. <laughs> good, good job, PSJ. I'm proud of you. Really, really making the space your own. Thank before you. Before you leave for Europe. <laughs> There's also one uh, in our bedroom. Also one in our bedroom. So. <laughs> Is it also a SpongeBob painting? Of course. I mean, where else? What else would it be? So you got in the kitchen, you got the SpongeBob, you know, rainbow. And then in the bedroom, you got SpongeBob and Patrick jellyfishing. So. All right. All right. I can get behind know. it. It's, it's, you know, it's uh, a solid decoration choices, VSA. I'm Thank proud. you. Thank you. Nah, so Kali, like, she just comes up with creative solutions to literally everything. So also me, you know, these are the things I did. Just assume everything else was Kali. So <laughs> the things I did. So see those things up on the ceiling there? Those, they're not the ceiling, but the top of the shelves there. Yeah. yeah. So I got to go up on the shelf and clean it. Okay. So oh, I, got to, like, wow. I got to climb up on the counter and like wipe the shit. Cause I swear the top of those cabinets have been, not been wiped in like four years. So I, you would I go up there. The, you and I wipe it down. They do that before before they change ownership. They they the cleaned a lot of the place, but they didn't clean some. We were we were upset with a few things, but so mm -hmm. we uh, I got to climb up there, and then we got to put our dry fryer or air dryer, air dryer, air fryer, air, air fryer. fryer, yeah, yeah air, fryer. Think air fryer, and then uh, our George Foreman grill or whatever you call it. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I use them, but I don't know what they're called. So. <laughs> I use them. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that, that's uh, you know, that's what's up there. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to take note of the things I did, monkeys. Nah, I mean, that, I that's did. at least two things. That is way more <laughs> than you know. Probably Chad gives me credit for. But like, where does Kali come up with this shit, man? She just has house plants. She has, dude. She she shopped for this wine glass rack. Look at that. Look at that wine yeah, glass dude, rack, dude. Everything everything looks like. 
how long has it been that you've been there now? And this apartment, it's been like three weeks, but a lot of this All stuff right. is like carrying over from the other place that we were here that we were there for like a year. Yeah. Um, oh, I actually it's 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 in construction right now, but you can see it. There's a few things on it, but I don't know if you've ever seen this monkeys, but it's it, it was it was assembled at the other place, but we're going to get it reassembled with like some add ons in a sec. But this is our table. Whoops. Wait, you're... Oh, okay, I'll take this want... stuff off. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> One second. I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> what were we looking at, Chad? <laughs> so it's on a beanbag chair, if you're wondering, like, what the hell's going on there. But it's a table. It's a Dota table. Oh, all right. That's cool. Yeah. So it's got like the dire volcano with the Dota symbol, and then the other side's yeah, got yeah, the radiant yeah, yeah. thing with the Dota symbol, and then it's yeah, got that's the sick. very ages. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't looking at it. I was just trying to describe it based on my. I wasn't looking at it. I said it's epoxy, didn't I? Yeah, it's an epoxy uh, table. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. So that was our like most expensive, you know, centerpiece custom ordered of the place. All the other stuff, Polly's like the most genius shopper because she got it all through like, you know, uh, online like Craigslist, yeah, Craigslist yeah, yeah. sales and stuff like that. So, Polly's resourceful as hell. That's what I've learned from this podcast. Yeah, she definitely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not to take anything away from you, man. Collie <laughs> deserves some hype right now. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Now Collie's uh, Collie's really knows her shit when it comes to this kind of stuff. She's got like the curse. We were talking about this earlier because it's a blessing and a curse. Her attention to detail. So, um, we have the trash cans that we step on now. It's like the step in up lids. And uh, when she steps on it, she steps on it really hard. So when she steps on it, it like opens up and hits the counter. All right. <laughs> so she had little roll things like kitchen roll de decorations that she would put at the bottom of our drawers that you can like, you know, they're like the stuff that helps things grip better and it protects the drawers yeah. from like getting cut and stuff. And she put them all like perfectly sized into our drawers. And she's like, wait a minute, I could probably cut some of those, glue it to the top of the trash can lid so that when it bumps up it's like less loud and like you know harsh uh, on the yeah, so, yeah, now, that's smart. so now we just have a nice little I mean, i'm just like dude like she just did that <laughs> yes. today yeah you have a, a silent proof or a noise proof trash can <laughs> yeah i i don't know how she does it it's quite a marvel but uh the best part about new york is when you move to a new area is there's just like 30 restaurants within two blocks of you that you've never been to before and uh that was nice yeah we uh we actually had some thai food today we had i had yellow curry and it was different than any other thai yellow curry i've ever had oh really uh, have you ever had yellow curry thai yellow curry I, is there meat in it yes but you don't have well to then meat. you know okay to well i i don't I, I mean i've had thai food a lot i don't know if i've specifically had yellow curry before before yellow curry is just the bomb I, I mean, don't best. don't get me wrong. I love curry. Like I I I make tofu curry like all the time. Uh, like stir fry curry or whatever. Like with yeah, you you definitely be able to get some tofu. vegan uh, yellow curry if you if you were to try. <laughs> but so <laughs> it, love calling me vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Like how I had to pause to think about what I was calling you there. You literally, you literally paused to call me the incorrect word. Like you took the extra time to make sure that you called me the wrong thing. You're so damn difficult. <laughs> That means I care, you know? By the way, uh, Collie and I are actually going to go to the local rock climbing gym this weekend. So, oh, really? Uh, That's yeah, it's going to be my first time climbing, really, since I saw you. I mean, I, I think I did it a bit in Arizona, but it was like... 
Yeah, you, you, told, you told me you tried it a couple of times. Yeah, it was like a month or two after I saw you in, in Brooklyn that I did it in Arizona. But it's since then, I still have my rock climbing shoes, though. So I did bring there those. Go. We're going to try to go rock them. climbing. Yeah, so dude, it's going to be valuable. Uh, dude, dude, rock gyms in New York are actually so amazing. Like... I, I like after after Brooklyn, I came back here to my rock gyms. I'm like, they're literally a quarter of the size of uh, Brooklyn Boulders where we were going. And well, I'm just like, I miss having that many options. <laughs> well, all I'm saying, monkeys, is if you want to make it a thing, how long does it take you to get here? Probably by train, I would probably say like an hour and a half, two hours or so then we should make a day thing where you come here for an hour and a half, like, or not an hour and a half, but you do the hour and a half in the morning. <laughs> only an hour and a half. Show up and then get the fuck with, you Just, you know, if you want to like, if you want to come over like next Thursday or Friday, you know, it has to be during the week. Right. Tuesday or Thursday is best because Kali's out working, so she doesn't have to deal with our obnoxiousness for like the first <laughs> um you know, like eight hours that you're here. <laughs> Probably a good idea. <laughs> so yeah, no, no, no one, no one can handle me in the, in, in the extended uh, visits. You know, like yes, that. exactly. It, it has to be very small increments. So. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, I'm throwing it out there. The the balls in your court next week. The all balls right? in my court. All right, the balls I'll, in your I'll, court. I'll, I'll actually look at like the train schedule and stuff. Then okay. Tuesday Try or Thursday it. is best, monkeys. You got two weeks, okay? You got either next Tuesday, Thursday, or the next, next Tuesday, Thursday. All right? Next Tuesday. Okay. And honestly, <laughs> who from now might... Uh, wait, what, what time is it? 2 a.m.? All right. I mean, none of you none of you know me personally, so I'm sure this will be fine. There's no way my dad's watching, because my mom and I were throwing a surprise birthday party for my for my dad and oh and spoilers spoiler spoilers yeah, so he's turning 60 years old and we wow, that's, a family, big one. that's a big one my family really does not do like much for birthdays like at all we literally like it's someone's birthday we text them happy birthday we don't even like really get together for birthdays or anything like we're we're very like nonchalant about birthdays but you know my dad's turning 60 and we're, we're, we've that's called, the long like, con oh, we, we've called all all of his well i say we it's mostly been my mom because i have no idea who my dad has known over over the years but she's called like all of his like college swimming buddies and like old roommates and just college friends and uh she got the band that played at their wedding to uh to come and like play the great that's Dead cool because my dad's like a super deadhead like he loves the great wow Dead, so. That's dope. So, That's yeah. exciting. So, gonna be doing that in in a week and a half. But, but so so that, that that's why I'm saying probably after after that weekend would probably be better for okay. me to come up and visit because I'm kind of busy with house maintenance and. Like you know, story just, monkeys, I believe you. It's yeah, whatever. I, yeah. I, I'm I'm literally trying to plan things with you, and you're giving me shit. <laughs> So, guys, that's it for our patch wish list and everything we hope for the yep. upcoming you know, exciting I'm glad Dota. We talked exclusively about Dota in this podcast. You know, I yep. hope you guys learned a bit. But... <laughs> indeed, indeed. It was a very knowledgeable, educational Dota patch analysis because Monkeys has just been playing so much Dota that uh, he wanted to make sure he talked about everything he's learned in the recent past. So monkeys it has been over an hour. You're just too, you're, you've just been dragging on the conversation. Do you have any final words uh, uh, for the fans at home? Uh, I don't look get. I don't look forward to getting slapped by BSJ when I see him. I do owe him a slap <laughs> and it will be recorded for Instagram. If that's allowed, I don't know if that's actually allowed. So, <laughs> Either way, guys, that's going to be it today, monkeys. Keep, uh, you know, make sure you check your next Tuesday, Thursdays and stuff and get back to me. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. If you do care about supporting it, you can check it out on the same Patreon that you find my coaching, exclamation point Patreon. Um, for now, we're not exactly doing fan submitted content, but if enough of you sign up or if you guys, you know, make a thing out of it, then we will. So just go ahead and support it if you wish. No pressure there, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. We're brought to you by prediction. Bye, I have to make sure I say that. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Have a good one.
It'll be up on my second YouTube. Oh my god, I'm so bad at selling out. See ya, monkeys. Bye.